What's up everybody, I hope you all are doing great and the topic of today's video is free Zoho CRM tutorial for beginners. So today we are going to discover this CRM as a beginner. How can we start with, how can we add leads, how can we add deals and so on. So here we are on zaha.com slash CRM and they provide us the opportunity to work with their CRM totally for free. Of course, they have like their paid plans. We'll discover them a little bit later, but we can easily start and interact with Zoho CRM totally for free. So in order to get started, we can just simply click on assess Zoho CRM. If you are new to this service, you'll have to create an account. But as for me, I'll come to this page here. Basically, this is our CRM dashboard. As you can see in the top of the screen, we have some folders, home, leads, contacts, account, deals, tasks, meetings, and so on. And also in the right side, we can easily interact with our profile settings, find our payment information and so on. So everything could be managed from this page here. So every single folder operates its like aims. So let's start with home from this page here. We can easily find all the uh, starts, all the dashboards, so open tasks, meetings, today leads, like my deals closing this month and so on. So all the important information will be discovered in this part here. Moreover, if you'll click on more, we can add more components. For example, if you want to uh, discover some more stats, we can easily add them from this page. So we can add like leads, contacts, information, account, deals, tasks, meetings, calls, and so on. So everything is pretty easy. We can basically uh, change the position of these folders here. So if you click on more, we can uh, go to edit or delete. So basically not that hard. On the leads area here, we can interact with every single lead we have in our base. Basically the most important thing is that we can create leads so we can import uh, leads or import nodes. Basically, if you we'll click on create, all we need to do is just to add the necessary information. So the email, fax, website and so on. But what is really important is that we need to add like a company. So let it be, for example, the name of our channel and the last name, let it be like Morris home, for example. So let's try to add this deal without any additional information just to find how will it look like. So let's click on save. And as you can see now, our lead was successfully created. Basically, we can find him right up here. If you will click on this uh, line in this uh, table, we can simply find all the information, all the interactions. So we can find notes, attachments, open activities, close activities. So basically all the information um, we are interested in, uh, like understand how did we interact with this guy. So basically we can easily send email from this page here, we can convert, we can edit to add some information maybe we want to add in the future. If we click on more, we can also clone this contact, delete, print, uh, customize business card, organize lead details and so on. So all the necessary information is right up here. And moreover, if you'll add like email, phone, lead source and so on, we'll find it in this table here. So uh, we can easily filter leads by different parameters like record action, related records actions. All the filters are discovered in the left side menu right up here. If you'll come to contents area, we'll find the same navigation basically here. So we have all the contacts in the left side. We can easily filter them by different parameters. And also if you'll click on some like contact here, we can find the same information, all the additional information, the timeline with like diff the with the history of interactions and so on. So basically it's pretty easy to understand how can we interact with this contact here. On the account, the same thing, basically, we can find a lot of stats, uh, but what is really important is that uh, all CRM created for is just to managing our deal. So if we come to deals folder, uh, we can easily interact with our deal. So we can import deals if we're, for example, like maybe switching from one CRM to the another, or we can create a deal. So basically the like important parameters are deal name. So let it be like sell, for example, um, t-shirt. 
something like this. Account name, let it be this, which is already creating closing date, uh, the next day and this stage, let it be like needs analysis. So basically we can add some additional information right up here. All the fields are uh, like, you know, easy to understand, like expand, expected revenue, lead source, contact name and so on. So it's pretty easy to fill them and then just click on save. So our deal will be like automatically added to this part here. Moreover, we can switch between uh, different like categories, like needs analysis, value proposition, like identify decision makers and so on. We can easily like switch between different uh, views like overview and timeline. So it's really important as for me. And in this case, um, we can view all the information from like this view here. So as for me, it's not that easy like to interact with. Uh, I saw a lot of different CRMs, so maybe it will be comfortable as for you. But as for me, definitely not the best. So if you'll come to the um, wall folder here, we can now find all the deals. We can switch from one category to the another one. For example, needs analysis to value proposition then like identify decision makers and so on. So we can easily manage all of these columns here. If you'll click on settings, we can find all the like things we can interact with. Basically, we can manage the information we are going to view about the deal and so on. So basically, this is how can we deal with deals. The same thing we have in tasks area where we can organize our tasks as for us. I think it's pretty cool. In the meetings, we can create meeting calls where we can manage all the calls and the projects. So uh, we can easily integrate Zoho projects to create an associate projects in Zoho CRM and stay on top of your tasks and milestones and basically execute customers projects on time every day. And if you're going to discover the pay plans, we can find that they have like four plans instead of uh, free, they have like standard, professional, enterprise, ultimate, 20 euros, 35, 15 and 65 euros. So the most popular is enterprise. Of course, we can find all the differences on their pricing page. But as for me, it's pretty cool that they have the ability to try and use this serum basically for free. Of course, we have some basically um, differences between free and paid plan by as for but as for me it's pretty cool so this is the way of how can we use a zoho serum for free as a beginner hope guys this video helped you out please leave a like comment and subscribe i wish you a very good day goodbye